Detectives say the police gun theft case started unraveling here. That's where a confidential source told them they would find Matthew Otero. He would later confess to breaking into three vehicles. Two of those were cop cars, a state police officer's marked unit, and a Laguna Pueblo police officer's unmarked SUV. And what that tells me is that they were targeting police, police officers' vehicles. Albuquerque police helped gather evidence in the Laguna police theft back in October. A lot of ammo was taken, um, including AR-15, AR mags, uh, 223 rounds, a handgun, and um, what's, what's really unique is there was also a tactical vest that was taken. County detectives say Otero led them to one of the guns, a Glock 22, along with a lot of ammunition. According to a criminal complaint, it was buried in his backyard near West Central. Otero was arrested in December. That's when detectives pressed him about the other guns. The complaint says Otero then ratted out his cousin, Nasadio Quesada, saying he was in on it. Quesada then told detectives Nathan Talamante had the guns. Detectives recovered all of the stolen weapons, a total of five assault rifles and handguns, and a lot of ammunition. Detectives say three were registered to law enforcement. And deputies say the trio told them they were about to use the guns for a robbery. Now, law enforcement guns are typically locked inside a compartment in the units, but in the complaint, Otero said he pried open the lock boxes in both cop cars with a screwdriver. Back to you. All right, thank you, Crystal. Talamante and Casada were both arrested and booked into jail yesterday. No word yet on what they were planning on robbing or if the body armor was recovered.